the problem, it was number 60 on the specialized high school worked examples. And the way I solved it initially was by plugging in a choice. And it happened to work out the first time. And I couldn't think of a simpler way to solve this problem. Uh, but I'm going to show you that right now. So we have 4.2 times n over 1.2. And they're telling us that the number n, it's an element of, which means it's part of this group. It's one of these members. It's either 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 1.4, 0 0.2, 2, and, or 7. It's one of these. This is called a set. And sets have a bunch of elements in it, or items. And they're trying to find out what is which one of these is n if, when you plug it in this equation, you get an integer. So an integer is either a positive or negative um, whole number. It also includes 0. So it's got to be some kind of whole number. Well, an easy way to think about this is to manipulate this equation. So multiply everything by 10, numerator and denominator. And then what we get is 42 times n over 12. Now, this is a lot nicer to deal with because we can reduce this. 12 and 42 have common factors. Uh, what we can do is we can plug in 2 into each, nice and easy, and we would get 21 over 6. 21 and 6 have a common factor, which is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So we have 7 times n, much easier to deal with, over 2. So which of these numbers do I know would work? Well, I know 2 is going to be the answer because 7 times 2, and this line right here means divided by, so multiplying 7 by 2 and then dividing by 2 will give me a whole number. It will give me 7. This 7 won't work because 7 times 7 is 49, and that is not evenly divisible by 2. 1.4 won't work, 0.7 and 0.2, all for the same reason, that if you multiply them by 7, you don't get a product of 2. So when you divide by 2, you won't get a whole an integer. So the answer here is 2. And what we did was manipulate this nasty decimal equation by multiplying by 10. And you might be able to see that for future problems. Um, here, the decimal point needs to move over one place for both of these to make 1.2, 12, 10 times bigger, and 4.2, 42, 10 times bigger. Um, you might, for other problems, for example, if we had uh, 0.42 times n over one, uh, 0.12. In this case, you multiply by 100 because the decimal point had to move twice. Or, in other words, these numbers would have to get 100 times bigger. So in that case, we get 42 over 12 again, except we multiply by 100 instead of 10.